Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very interesting question from Chinese Math Olympiad. Square root x minus 1 plus square root 2x minus 3 plus square root 3x minus 5 plus square root 4x minus 7 equal to 5x minus 6. And we are going to calculate all real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. I will write radicant x minus 1. This must be positive for x to be real. Radicant 2x minus 3. This should be greater than or equal to 0. 3x minus 5 should be greater than or equal to 0. Radicant 4x minus 7 should be greater than or equal to 0. And 5x minus 6 must be positive. It cannot be negative as we have sum of 4 square roots. Now from first inequality, x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0, we are going to write x should be greater than or equal to 1. From second inequality, 2x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, we will get x should be greater than or equal to 3 over 2. Now from third inequality, we will write 3x minus 5 should be greater than or equal to 0. So x must be greater than or equal to 5 over 3. From our fourth radicant inequality, we will write 4x minus 7 should be greater than or equal to 0. So we will get x should be greater than or equal to 7 over 4. And from right hand side, we will write x should be greater than or equal to 6 over 5. Now we have to take intersection of all four inequalities from LHS and then intersection with RHS x must be greater than or equal to 6 over 5. We are going to get x should be greater than or equal to 7 over 4. Our answer should be greater than 7 over 4 if we want to find real solutions. So let's get started with our substitution straight away. I will consider first square root equal to a, second square root b, third square root c, fourth square root is d. So the very first equation which we can write a plus b plus c plus d this is equal to 5x minus 6. Now we will write here square root x minus 1 this is equal to a square root 2x minus 3 this is equal to b square root 3x minus 5 equal to c and square root 4x minus 7 equal to d. Now we will consider squaring both sides and we can write here a square will be equal to x minus 1, b square will be equal to 2x minus 3, c square will be equal to 3x minus 5 and d square will be 4x minus 7. Now we are going to add all four equations. So we can write here a square plus b square plus c square plus d square equal to x plus 2x plus 3x plus 4x. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10. We will write 10x minus 1, minus 3, minus 5, minus 7, minus 16. So I can write here equation a square plus b square plus c square plus d square equal to 
टेन एक्स माइनस सिक्सटीन नाउ वी कैन राइट अवर आर एच एस ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन टेन एक्स माइनस सिक्सटीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइव एक्स माइनस सिक्स कैन वी राइट लेट्स राइट हेयर आई विल राइट हेयर फाइव एक्स माइनस सिक्स सो आई नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू सो दिस इज टेन एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व एंड ओवरऑल इट इज माइनस सिक्सटीन सो वील राइट माइनस फोर एंड फाइव एक्स माइनस सिक्स इज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी प्लस डी सो हेयर वी कैन राइट ए प्लस बी प्लस सी प्लस डी इन प्लेस ऑफ फाइव एक्स माइनस सिक्स सो आई कैन राइट अवर इक्वेशन ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस डी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स a plus b plus c plus d minus 4 let me write here a square plus b square plus c square plus d square equal to 2 times a plus b plus c plus d minus 4 now we will add 4 to both sides so let me write here plus 4 in the lhs plus 4 in the rhs so minus 4 and plus 4 will be over from right hand side now i will split this 4 as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so i will write a square plus 1 plus b square plus 1 Plus c square plus one plus d square plus one. In RHS we have two a plus two b plus two c plus two d. Now we will take all the terms to left hand side. So I can write a square minus two a plus one. Once we will take two a to the LHS, it will become minus two a. So a square minus two a plus one. Then we will take two b to the LHS, and we can write b square minus two b plus one. Similarly, we can write here c square minus two c plus one. and here we'll be writing d square minus 2d plus 1 equal to 0 now each bracket is one algebraic identity so we can write here this is a minus 1 whole square plus here we can write b minus 1 whole square plus c minus 1 whole square Plus d minus one whole is square equal to zero. Now sum of squares equal to zero. This is possible if each bracket this is equal to zero. So we can write a minus one will be zero, b minus one will be zero, c minus one will be zero, d minus one will be zero. Let us write here a minus one equal to zero. B minus one equal to zero, C minus one equal to zero, and last bracket D minus one equal to zero. So from these four equations, we can get A equal to one, B equal to one, C equal to one, and D equal to one. Now we are going to put A, B, C, D. as per our substitution we will write this was a this was b this was c this was d so we will write here the square root of x minus 1 equal to 1 the square root of 2x minus 3 equal to 1 the square root of 3x minus 5 equal to 1 
एंड स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर एक्स माइनस सेवन इक्वल टू वन नाउ वी विल स्क्वायर बोथ साइड वी विल गेट एक्स माइनस वन इक्वल टू वन स्क्वायर इज वन सो फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन गेट एक्स इक्वल टू टू now from second equation once you will consider squaring both sides we will get 2x minus 3 equal to 1 so 2x will be equal to 4 x will be equal to 2 from third equation we are going to write 3x minus 5 equal to 1 3x equal to 5 plus 1 6 x will be equal to Two, and from our last equation, we can easily write four x minus seven equal to one. So four x equal to eight. So from here also, we are going to get same solution x equal to two. So our only real solution which will satisfy this equation will be x equal to two. Let's check our answer. So I will write. check for x equal to 2 we will begin with lhs equation is here i will put direct values square root of 2 minus 1 plus square root of 2x x is 2 so 2x will be 4 we will write 4 minus 3 plus square root of 3x will be 6 minus 5 plus square root of 4x would be 8 minus 7 so i can write here square root 1 plus square root 1 plus square root 1 plus square root 1 so value will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 we are going to get lhs 4 now the turn off plugging x equal to 2 to our rhs which is 5x minus 6 so i will write here 5 times x is 2 minus 6 value will be 10 minus 6 rhs is coming out 4 so our rhs equal to lhs hence our solution x equal to 2 is true solution I hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye